Hey, what's up, you guys? YXM here, everyone's favorite YouTuber who started some mispronounces. And today, you're gonna do a top 10 list of um, top 10 depressing suicidal black metal bands. Something uh, I've wanted to do for a while, but it's always like another video idea pops up and then I, you know, kind of sidetrack it. But today, uh, let's do it. I've been wanting to do this for a while. So, uh, starting it off, at number 10 is Alstory. This is an Australian depressing suicidal black metal band that um, isn't around anymore. I think their last release was 2010 or something. There's only like two full lengths and whatnot. But um, really depressing stuff. That has like this um, really vibrant and uh, thick uh, production to it where you can make out everything it's not really that distorted and these vocals just have this sad depressing and just uh, miserable sounding vo uh, vocal style that is uh, pretty much everything you would come to expect in depressing suicidal uh, black metal and uh, they make it number 10 on this list coming in at number nine is uh, an another obviously depressing suicidal black metal band called Life Lover. And if you get rid of that L, it makes life over. What a lot of people kind of bring up in the comics comment sections of their uh, music. But Life Lover, again, uh, really depressing stuff. Has all the uh, ingredients that you would come to expect in, D in DSBM. And uh, I love the guitar melodies they put into their work. I love the just overall vibe that they give off. It's again, it's any, it's everything you would come to expect in DSBM. Life Lover gives. That's number nine. Coming in at number eight is the newcomers that have made quite an impact. Is Ghost Bath. Now I know a lot of people give them shit because their vocals are just screams. There's no lyrics. There's no. Uh, language it's just a guy screaming on the top of his lungs but what i like about ghost bath is that their instrumentation does the work their instrumentation tells the story and it's a different take on dsbm it's uplifting it's depressing it's like a roller coaster of emotion something that you would come to expect out of life and with the you know the uplifting depressing parts it makes each um, wave of the emotion you'll feel really have a climax each wave and that's why i think uh, Ghost Bath uh, works with really well, and that's what's uh, helped them out with their success to get signed to such a big label so quickly. So I, um, I'm really excited to see what Ghost Bath's going to put out in the uh, future. But I really enjoyed Moon Lover a lot. I have it on CD and vinyl, and um, yeah, Ghost Bath makes it number eight. It's just they're not that high on the list because they're still uh, kind of the new kids on the block for a DSBM. So that's number eight. Number seven. It's hypothermia. This band lets another band that lets the instrumentation do the talking and the story. Yes, they actually have vocals and they actually have lyrics, unlike Ghost Bath, but 80% of the time it's instrumentation, 20% of the time it's vocals. And um, this is a more raw, more uh, dark and disturbing take on DSBM that will honestly just make you want to drown yourself or kill yourself pretty much. Uh, Hypothermia, overall, I think is a great Swedish. Uh, DSBM band that I definitely need more of their work hopefully next time I get something by them it won't be a picture disc and have surface noise but hypothermia if you want some really good solid uh, depressing suicidal black metal hypothermia is that band it makes number seven coming in at number six I might actually see these guys in July if I'm lucky enough but number six is make a change kill yourself and their band name alone kind of just says it all right there. Right from the start, there's no guessing. That is a straight DSBM right fucking there. This band is just straight depression. There's no roller coaster of a ride. It is depression from the start to the end to the middle to the betweens of that too. It is just straight depression. This band will make you feel like a worthless pile of shit pretty much. And it's just a really... A uh, harsh way of um, the pr black metal that um, it just stays on one course, but it doesn't get sickening either, which I really enjoyed from um, Make a Change, Kill Yourself. So uh, check that band out if you just want straight depression throughout that will make you 
just shit. Man, it's just terrible stuff in terms of emotional wise. But um, overall, their music is great in my opinion. Coming in at number five is a band that's really dramatically changed a lot of their sound, but their older work is just masterful for depressing suicidal black metal. And number five is Forgotten Tomb, another band that I really enjoy that I have nothing by. But Forgotten Tomb, their uh, springtime depression, that is masterful work for DSBM. That is honestly both dark, twisted and beautiful at the same time it's a roller coaster of a ride it's an album that if you want if you want to start off with to getting into this style of music i highly highly recommend you listen to springtime depression that is the best example and one of the best examples in my opinion to to uh, show you what depressing suicidal black metal is capable of in terms of just an emotional fuck ride of a roller coaster so number five is forgotten tomb Coming in at number four is Happy Days. My girlfriend really enjoys this band. And what kind of sets up the mood is that they use a lot, and I mean like pretty much every track, so a lot of audio clips to kind of give the idea, the mood, the setting, the plot behind each track. And honestly, it goes very well with the music, and that's why I really got to give it up to them. They use a really great work in audio clips from all these different movies, from cult movies to big name movies that really sets the tone so happy days um another great depressing suicidal black metal band that has beautiful guitar melodies that are at the same time just twisted and depressing as fuck sounding so number four is happy days coming in at number three is uh, another big name the dsbm scene and that is shining yes the vocalist is up absurdly fucking retarded and just insane from cutting himself all the time to faking his death this guy is completely insane but what makes up for it is their music their music is <clears throat> utterly perfect for dsbm all their early work their first four albums i think are fantastic and just phenomenal and perfectly embodies everything that DSBM is supposed to be about. And it is just utterly amazing. But uh, warning, it is really fucked up at the same time. So if you really want to try it, Shining, coming in at number three. Coming in at number two is a band I'm just liking more and more and more. Number two is Thy Light. This is like an ambient uh, DSBM band. All the way from Brazil, I'm pretty sure. And this band is... I don't even want to call it DSBM because their instrumentation is so breathtaking. It is so insanely breathtaking. But the moment those vocals are uttered, it gets extremely depressing. It's a mixture of breathtaking, depressing, dark, and beautiful all into one. And it really stands out. This is a band that is a must listen regardless if you hate DSBM or not. If you think it's just all for little crybabies. Thy Light is phenomenal. It's something that needs to be heard by more people. So I highly advise you check out Thy Light. The only reason they're not number one is they've only released two albums but they're both sensational. So number two is Thy Light. And coming in at number one is the guy I always consider to be the uncrowned king of depressing suicidal black metal. And obviously I'm talking about Zaster. This guy has made masterpiece after masterpiece after masterpiece of DSBM that I think pretty much everyone knows. He's, and honestly, in my opinion, one of the biggest names in uh, DSBM, not that that's a I guess it is an accomplishment, I guess. Well, it is. He has talent. This guy knows how to make great music. And, um, he's, and obviously, he's the band that everyone knows that starts with X. <laughs> but uh, Zaster, incredible stuff. I think you should all you should all have seen this coming, that number one was Zaster. It's a damn shame that um, he's kind of changed up his style a little bit. I mean, that's what a musician should do is kind of change and experiment a little bit with their, his sound. And his latest track is all clean vocals. That sounds like really dark, twisted post-folk, I, I want to say, like Black Gaze or whatever it's called. It's really, It still has a depressing vibe going on, but with a much more cleaner, more accessible take on it that uh, is still interesting, but still his older work, that is uh, black metal 
is straight perfection in my opinion and you, you can listen to any album of his and you'll get uh, satisfied from it. So number one obviously is Zaster. So yeah guys that's my top 10 for uh, my, my personal top 10 depressing suicidal black metal bands. Obviously I must have missed out one that you thought should be on this list. As always I like discovering new music so tell me what's your favorites and uh, yeah thanks for watching, liking, supporting, and subscribing. Hopefully you discovered something new. You guys are the absolute fucking best and good listens.